Daniel chapter 7. In the first year of Belsizer, Belsizer, and we're out of order here. King of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed. He wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spank and said, I saw in the, my vision by night. Night pitches the church age. The time of the Gentiles. Behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea, north, east, west, and south. The four great beasts come up from the sea, Mediterranean Sea, the great sea. There is no sea over by Babylon. Diverse from one another. The first was like a lion. And at Eagle's Wings, we talked about it, and we're going to read, review England, which would be a type of Persia. I beheld till the wings were plucked, and it lifted up his, it, it was lifted up from the earth and made stand on the feet as a man, as a man. And a man's heart was given to it. And never said he, he stopped being a beast. A beast that become man-like. And behold another beast, a second like to a bear. We saw that be like Russia. Which would be Greece. Russia being a type. And it raised up itself on one side. So on the right or left side, he, he gets up. And it had three ribs in his mouth. I don't understand what that is. Now when I read Larkin, Larkin had the thing, but I'm going to show you where Larkin's wrong. Of it between the teeth of it. And they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. And nothing happens to this beast to make it weak like the lion would. With the, with the wings were, were plucked. This beast, the, the second one, has no, all right, you know, you, you calm down or anything. It, its last standing is devour much flesh. And that's Russia. And we're in a war with, with Ukraine and all that, but, I mean, that's that's not the signs of the, of the times or anything like that. It ain't, you know, the rapture's in mean, there are no signs of the rapture. Jesus said in the tribulation period there will be rumors of war and war. There's been rumors of war throughout all the years. You imagine all the, the rumors of wars and battles and conflict for World War One, World War II, Alexander the Great. You got, you got your head wrapped up in the media, not the Bible. And behold another beast. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Verse 6. At this I beheld a low another beast, a leopard. We saw this to be type of America, which would be of Rome. Now Rome, Persia, and Greece are all from the Mediterranean Sea area. It would fit. Which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, not eagle, and the beast had four heads, and dominion was given to it, power, dominion was given to it, the bear has gold devoured flesh, and the lion was made, his, his wings were clipped, he was given feet as a man, and he walked as a man, and his heart was given to a man, but the only animal that is so far what we're looking at in three, the only animal that, you know, destroy is the bear. The leper said, hey, you got the power. Well, let me ask you, in America, what is the power? America is one of the leading powers of the world, and we also have stationed in New York the United Nations. Now, Larkin says... That this is Babylon, you know, the first, the lion, the Babylon, and that the symbol of Babylon was the lion, da, 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 da. Well, run down to verse 17 real quick. We're going to look at a lot of verses. 
These great beasts, which are four, we haven't got to the four yet, are four kings. Got it? Which shall, four kings, if it's America, America doesn't have a king. Or will she? Which shall arise, future. It can't be Nebuchadnezzar, because we're in Belshazzar, verse 1. And Daniel said that these dreams, these visions, are shall arise out of the earth. They're future. They're not in Daniel's time. So that's important. So what we have here is we have the Mediterranean area. We have Persia, the type of England being the type of Persia. We've got Greece. We've got Russia, the type of the Greece. And we've got Rome, which in America is a type of Rome. Now for Britain, Britain came out of Rome. And there's a battle between Britain, between the Anglican Church and the Catholic Church, and Bloody Mary and many of the people, Westcott and Horror, they wanted England, they want Britain to come back and have the Catholic Church, not the Anglican Church. The, the, the Queen Elizabeth, when she goes to the church, she goes to the Anglican Church. She doesn't go to the Catholic Church. She's not Catholic. But they come out of the Catholic Church. Listen, King James, who wrote or had the, the, the King James Bible written, was his family was persecuted over the Bible and over religion by the said Catholic Church. And he's like, we need to, he wasn't for it, but he said, you know, we need to put the Bible in English for everyone to read it. And when you look at the history of King James, why he did it, very important. Now, the symbol of Britain is the griffin, and the griffin is a lion with two wings, also with Persia. Persia and England are the two nations in our history. Now, look, no, look, no, look, we're looking at history here. This is very important because in America, I don't know about the world, they are changing and rewriting and erasing history. The Bible is a historical book. The Bible is a prophetic book. We're looking at prophecy, yet it's history. And yet it's future. And for God, God has already seen the end from the beginning. Persia and England are the only two nations. 1918 AD and 583, I believe it is written there, BC. Go back to your land. To rebuild. Listen, this happened during a time of, of Winston Churchill. I remember the name of Winston Churchill. I was too young and I was a Catholic and I didn't know what was going on. Winston Churchill go those Jews back to the land. That's their land. Uh, wait a minute. We got to give some Muslims some land. We got to give Jordan the Transjordan. We've got to give them what they call the land of Palestine. What the land of Palestine is it's Israel's land. It's never called the land of Palestine. It's called the land of Canaan, and it's, and it's called the land of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And England said, okay, go back, but we got, you know, the Muslims, we got to protect them. And then England went to the RSV in 1887. I wrote it down. 1887 and telling those Jews I will curse them that curse you that we're going to give a part of your land that's when the wings were clipped how many wings were clipped? two what were the two wings that were clipped? go back to the land oh we got to give some land to Judah uh, uh, Jordan oh, one wing the RSV 1881 we'll clip the other wing thank you very much Pump. now you got to walk around and England has been there for the Gulf War. England has been there for the Afghan War. England's going to probably be there in, the, in this Russian and Ukraine War. And England's been in the, uh, the Falkland Islands. But she ain't got no power. The Queen can't get up and say, all right, stop. She can't get up tomorrow on her throne with her royalty and say, uh, Mr. Putin, you stop it right now. Royal, he laugh in her face.
So England has been a nation of the king of the beast, the lion, and the king of the birds, the eagle. And they were at one time in history, the sun never set upon the English Empire. Wherever the, the, the sun was on, in the earth, there was, a, there was a territory, there was a colony, there was a place, there was a occupation of England, Great Britain. No longer. She's plucked. But she's still a beast. She's wingless, which means she's wounded. You go out into into the uh, I don't want to say eagle because you know eagles you know protect them. You go out and grab any bird and you cut off their wings. That bird's gonna walk around, but he's still wounded. He's got scars. He's not gonna grow wings back. So England's not gonna grow back, but she doesn't disappear. And she finally sunk with 1881 of RSV. I don't care what you, how well you think the modern Bibles. Now, Russia, Russia is the bear, and the Russian bear, and everybody knows that. And it has the Greek, alpha, the Greek alphabet and the Greek Orthodox religion. So that's a type of Greece. And Russia... As the bear is strong than the lion, but he's slow. He's a brute. He's fierce. And he's got great strength. That lion may be the king of the bees, but that bear, <laughs> he'll chase you. And we are warned in the Bible about lions. We are warned about, you, you know, you better face a lion who's missing her cubs and then fooling his folly. You don't mess with a bear. A bear. Elijah, or Elijah, if I get the two mixed up. And, you know, ball head, now ball head. And he curses, and a, and a sheep bear came, a sheep bear, and killed many children. That'd be a type of what we're reading right now. And it says he, he he rolls on one side. You know what a bear does? He hibernates. He sleeps. He, he goes to bed all winter long. And he wakes up. He's hungry. Get out of his way. Because he wants more than a picnic basket. Now there's three ribs that are in his mouth. Larkin said I think it was Egypt, Syria, you know, we're, this is not, it's, it could be. Egypt, Assyria, and I forget the other nation, Greece, I think it was. Awesome. As far as I know, I don't, but I want you to realize in the Bible, when you find the, the word, the fifth rib, it's a symbol of death. And it shows up for Asahel. Now Asahel, he's he's in a battle, and he's chasing after the the, the general Amasa. And Amasa says, "Turn around and go after somebody else, will you? I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to harm you because because you know I know who your brother is, hey, uh, Joab." And Asahel stayed with it and chased after, him, and Amasa took a spear and behind him flushed it. And it went through Asahel's fifth rib. And it killed him. Now you have Abner. Abner is another military man. And he was killed by Joab under the fifth rib. You notice how Joab keeps showing up. A Mesa is brought into power and he is killed under the fifth rib by Joab. Ishbodesh, the ruler of Israel north after Saul, while David is ruling Judah, he is on his bed asleep. 
and they break into his bedroom and they slay him under his fifth rib. Isn't that interesting? Eve, the mother of all living, the first wife, did not come from dirt. She came from Adam's side, the fifth rib. And you wonder if these fifth ribs, if that's where Eve came from. And we have a thing today in America. We just love ribs and we love buffalo wings. And, the, you know, it's not that buffaloes fly. It comes from Buffalo, New York. Oh, by Canada. That'd be something interesting to look at, too. Now, Russia, you can't really say, well, it was the RSV and all that, because Russia don't have a Bible. She's religious. Her God is Stalin and, and communism. And they have great cathedrals. St. Petersburg. They got the names from the Bible, but they're changing them. They got the, the red square. The Kremlin. Red October. And when you study these more and more and more, and you look at the Bible. So Russia would be known for the fierce and strength of her. The leopard. America. Leopard is agile and graceful. Other than the three animals. It's strength and swift and fierce. That was America once. That ain't America today. She's a coward. She's a fowl, not an eagle. Now what is a fowl? It's a domesticated bird raised for food and eggs. They're not wild like the eagle. And it could be a chicken, a duck, a turkey, or a goose. Or any such animal that you raise for the eggs and you raise for food. And you raise it. You don't raise an eagle. So the national symbol for America should be either the fried chicken, the chicken, or a half-naked and fully naked woman. That would fit perfect. America's downfall, would you believe not, was, was 1901 when we got the ASV. England was 1881, the RSV. They gave up the King James Bible for the RSV, 1881. America came by through the Geneva Bible, through the, the pilgrims. They didn't come over the King James Bible. And on that Mayflower, there was a printing press made for, for the Bibles that shipped partially broke apart the main mass. And what kept that mass, kept them swimming across the Atlantic Ocean to Boston, was they used the parts of that press. That brought the Mayflower over to America with the parts of a press brought for Bibles. Then would have been the Geneva Bible. And then the first press came over to America and they were printing Bibles. And the King James Bible came over. And then some idiot, some idiot, some idiot came in. Oh, let's get the ASV. Close the door. And you see that this beast, it has no, it has dominion of power. But where is the devouring the flesh? Where is the fighting spirit of the English? You know, there are stories in the history of England, I mean, great battles. Beyond, you know what the English think? Tough upper lip, old boy. Just, just chew your leg off and keep fighting. Russians, we die. We drink vodka and we die. America... We fight, and we argue over Democrat or Republican. And from Rome, we come with the, with the countries of England, Russia, 
and the United States. In England, you had the KJV, the King James Bible, the Geneva Bible, and the Bishop's Bible. And then the RSV came in 1881 and sunk. That's your idiot, idiots out there with their bikes and everything. The United States of America, we had the Geneva Bible. We had the King James Bible. We probably had the Bishop's Bible too. This is before any president. We were a child of, of England. In America. And then we came up to the 1901, the ASV. You know what we got after the 901 ASV? We got the Mormons. We got the Jehovah Witnesses. We got the Pentecostals. We got the Mary Becky Eddies. That's all came out of America. That is the fruits of America. ASV and occults. We don't like the Jehovah Witnesses coming to our house. That came from your country. God bless America. Now in England, they had kings and queens. That's Bible. In the United States, we had presidents. In Russia, they had czars, presidents, and emperors. Right now, they got President uh, Putin. You know, right now, Russia wants to make a declaration that they want to call Putin and his office, even the next guy, Supreme Emperor, Supreme Pontiff. Well, that's what the Catholics call their Pope. We're working on our way to the Antichrist. Now we have the leopard, and we, we talked about this last night. We have the leopard, he has a white belly. That is, we can trace all our roots back to Noah. And back to Adam. And with that white belly, that is European. That's the Polacks. That, I'm a Polak, I can say it. That's the English. That's the German. That's the French. That's the Spaniards. That's the Italians. That's Japheth. We looked at, you get last night's video. We're not going to. There's Japheth, the white. That leopard has yellowish brownish in his skin. That is the, the, the Shemites, the Asians, the North American, the, 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 the Indians, the Native Americans, the brown skin. That would be Shem. That would be your Jewish people. That would be your Japanese, your Chinese, your, again, the Indians and then the, the uh, Native Americans. They're here in America. And then you got the, the black spots. You got that ham that came out of that art. Black spot. And there was a man that was Cain, and I'm not going to say he was colored. Some do. But he was marked. And what kind of mark would, would Cain have to all the world to say, hey, that's Cain. Look at him. So... We're looking at nations here. We're looking at a future that it's also today and it's also yet still tomorrow. And we get into that fourth beat, which we're not going to, but we're going to go. But we're not going to go, but we're going to go. We're going to start. And what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at some scripture. Scripture. Revelation. Last book in the Bible. Revelation chapter 13. 13, the Bible's rebellion. That's what America's doing today. Oh, we got to park our trucks. we got to block the highway. Oh, look at the gas prices. Oh, we don't like our president. He's not our president. F-bomb our president. Blah, 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 blah. Revelation 13, 1, I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a, a beast, a beast, not four. Rise up out of the sea, having seven heads. Well, the leopard had four. 
and ten horns, and upon the horns ten crowns, royalty, kings, and upon the, his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like a leopard, so here's a leopard, his feet were as the feet of a bear. Alright, so we're, we're reversing, we're, you know, leopard, he was like a leopard, all right, that, that was in Daniel's thing. He said that was America. He has feet of a bear. He's going to walk like a bear. He's going to be fat and movable. But he's going to be strong. You know, a bear would climb up a, a tree and mark that tree. You ever, you ever, ever seen a picture of a bear's paw, a fully grown bear? And his mouth is as the mouth of a lion. Look at the reverse. The beast, he's all of Noah's children. All lives matter. Watch out. And he's got the feet of the bear. Got the power and the walk. Listen, the world is fearing the bear today. And the media is making sure you fear it because they want to sell newspapers. And that mouth is the mouth of a lion. It's an English-speaking press one for English. And we're going to have a government that's going to have... Look, 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 look. We're going to have a government that's going to speak English after the English, Britain. He's going to walk in fierce as the bear of Russia. And he's going to be a mixed group of people like the Americans. And actually today, what is America? We're African American. We're Polish American. Why is it that you're a Polish American? Why is it you're an African? Why ain't you American African? Why ain't you American Italian? Aren't you, when you came to this country, aren't you supposed to give that all up? And slay allegiance to this country, and yet still, I'm African American. Africa came first. I'm Polish American. The Polish came first. I'm an Italian American. The Italian came first. And for the Indians that were here that are not Indian, they're called Native Americans. And the dragon, Revelation chapter, uh, that's uh, 20, I think it is. That's the devil. Dragon, do you know what country worships and honors the dragon? There's China. There is America. There is Russia. There is the uh, United States. And there is China. And right now, I mean, this thing going on, China and Russia, China and Russia, China and Russia. And we're upset about the gas prices. In England, they're trying to figure out if the queen dies, and I hope she's safe. Uh, what are they going to do with the children that she has right now? And the dragon, the devil, the serpent, the old serpent, Satan, gave him, gave him, who? That beast, that is the leopard, that is the bear, that is the lion, gave him his power. There's coming a beast that's going to have the power, and the power is going to be of Satan. And these animals of Daniel are going to lead right to it. And they're all going to converse into one. How and what and why, I don't know. 1 Samuel. And it may be some kind of out of order, but this is, <coughs> this is how it came to me. 1 Samuel 12, 34. So I mean, it can't be 34. 17, 34 maybe? This is my handwriting, so. 1734. Let's see how that one, I hope so. Okay, 734. First Samuel 1734. And David, who is a type of Christ, said unto Saul, a type of Antichrist. By the way, in the, in the RSV and many modern Bibles, David does not kill Goliath. Mm -hmm. 
you can check my website. You can check the right now. I'm working the RSV. When the RSV is uploaded and put to my website, one of the things there will show you that the RSV shows that David did not kill Goliath. As a side note, uh, I'm working on that right now, so it's not ready yet. So David said to Saul, "Thy servant." You know, Saul, he's he's just a coward. <laughs> And David still says, hey, listen, I'm your servant, king. And all the times that Saul tries to kill David, David says, still, I'm your servant. You know, David doesn't rebel. You know, David had two chances to kill King Saul. And he's like, oh, I wish you boys shut up. By the way, you know who those boys were? They were his cousins, I think it is. Their mother was sister to his mother. <laughs> and you can figure the family out. Thy servant kept thy father's sheep. You know what that is? It's, it's a type of Israel. See, we're getting into types. And there came a, a what? And there came what? How come David said there came a bear and there came a lion? You say he didn't say that style. He said a lion and a bear. What was, what was, what was the vision of Daniel? Do you think David would know a dream that Daniel and Daniel, the temple hasn't even been built? Never mind after the temple's been destroyed. He knows the idea of a dream. And he has no idea of the apostle John writing to us out of Revelation chapter 13. And took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him. And smote him and delivered him out of his mouth, the, the, took the sheep out. And when he rose against me, I came by his beard and smote him and slew him. That's the bear. And the servant slew the both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine be as one of them. So guess who else is a type of? Antichrist, as we're looking at the Antichrist animals for Revelation 13, Goliath is a type of Antichrist, and Jesus Christ is going to get the victory over the Antichrist. No, not in the RSV. One of David's warriors or whoever gets. And Goliath has brothers. <laughs> and he said, Devour the armies of the living God. And this is this all ties in. <laughs> We can't get into that tonight. I wish we could. Proverbs. You say, well, Stiley, this is kind of over my head. Well, you go walk up to your pastor and tell him why is it over your head. How come I can teach you what the Bible said? And, and you know a lot of pastors, are, you know, they're scholars. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. You know why? Because they closed their Bible, the King James, and opened up their modern Bible. They're way back there with Larkin. <laughs> they haven't grown in grace. They, God's not going to show them anything out of their modern Bible. I believe the absolute authority and, and, and infallibility of the King James Bible. Not only am I King James only, I'm only King James. I will go so far as believe that the other Bibles are of Satan when they come of Westcott and Hort. Hey, you got a Geneva Bible, you got a Bishop Bible, you got uh, what the, the Giants Bible, great, I forget which one, that big huge one. Glory to God. There are people who've got the original has been printed in my time a few years ago. They actually got the printed original King James Bible. I had one. I couldn't read it. I, I had to give it to somebody. Proverbs twenty eight fifteen. As a now this is the Antichrist. Now can I ask you something? As a roaring lion? As a raging bear? Oh come on, Solomon. Okay, you may have copied that Solomon from your dad. Let's just say he did. Solomon and David did not know Daniel's dream, never mind the book of Revelation. Look, 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 look. And look, at how, it's not, there's no leopard spoken about. I think America's going to be there as we head to the Antichrist, but I think she's going to go in stealth. So is a wicked ruler over poor people. 
Well, who do you think that wicked ruler is going to be in the future? The wicked ones. The Antichrist. That fourth beast we're coming up to is the Antichrist. And he's going to take a couple chapters. Oh boy, I hope this is Isaiah. I'm sorry, my handwriting's bad. Isaiah 11, 7. This one may have to be out the window. Oh, no, no, this is it, 11, 7. Oh, it doesn't look Isaiah 11, 7. And the cow shall, and the bear shall feed. If that bear is hungry enough, he's going to take that cow and have hamburger raw. And the young ones shall lie down together. And the lion. <laughs> now look, it's out of order. Shall eat straw like an ox. Why is it out of order here? Because we're in a whole different period of time. We're in the millennium. And now these animals are represent peace. They don't represent the Antichrist. They, re they represent the peaceful millennial kingdom of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. There's going to come a time you're going to have a lion out, out in the barn with the goats and the sheep and the chickens. You're going to say, dear, can you go feed them? Go feed the horses and all that and make sure you get the straw to the lion. Honey, will you go out in the field and, and see how the cow and the bear are doing out there? <laughs> Make sure, you know, the fence is still built. <laughs> and the suckling child shall play in the hole of the asp. And the weaned child shall put his hand in the cockatence de a serpent. Normally, they would always represent seven and eight. Seven complete, eight a new beginning. That would... With prophecy that would usually look at the Antichrist and the devil, but in the kingdom of Jesus Christ, peace. You know, those serpents do it, and they're not going to get their legs back. They're going to have to sliver. Still. Isaiah 34. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. And some, some Christians are going to watch this like... I don't understand. It's going to take you time. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that your pastor ain't teaching you right. I'm sorry that your Sunday school teacher is pulling around. I'm sorry that you are in a wrong Bible. You need to get a King James Bible. I'm sorry you spend more time on your phone than you do praying to God. I'm sorry that most of your prayer life is give me, give me, give me. Now thank you, thank you, thank you. Last night, you know, listen, I'm praying for something right now. I want one thing. And listen, I am bargaining with God. I am pleading with God. And I said, God, I said, no, if there's anything in my life, any sins that you don't like. I woke up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Just, and God said, what about that? <laughs> uh, I kind of thought about that. But I really, okay. i got to confess that. And then today, I did that very sin, and I, <laughs> I confess it again. Prayer is not, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and chapter 34, verse 2, it says, For the indignation of the Lord is upon, read it, What's it say? Well, except, it didn't say except America. You know, that that's also speaks for Israel. But not here. The indignation upon Israel is Daniel's 70th week, which we'll be talking about, Lord willing. 
And if God punished the behind of chastement of the nation of Israel, you better believe he's going to chasten the nation, and he's going to especially chasten the nation in America who sticks her nose in business that she doesn't need to stick her nose in with. Which she's, a, she's a Christian nation, but she don't know what the Bible says while she is allowing babies to be killed, laws to protect baby killers, and occupying with alcohol and destroying ruined families. And not allowing the Bible in the schools, not allowing prayer in the schools, and all the, the sin and wickedness and idolatry and adultery and fornication and how wicked her churches are, thinking how great and wonderful we are. And God says, For the ignic nation of the Lord, that's Jehovah God, is upon all nations. And his fury is upon all there. We got the greatest military in the world. And God says, <laughs> I'm angry with you. And he had, look at that, past tense, though it hasn't happened yet. Utterly destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. There, there's coming a battle of Armageddon. There's a battle of Gog and Magog. And at the end of the millennium, the Bible says that Satan gathers an army and God says, you're dead. Don't blink because that, that military, that army of Satan, here, where'd they go? Jesus, yes. The devil just had an army, yeah, I know. Where'd they go? Don't worry about it. And heaven and earth is going to fold away, it's going to melt away. And Chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I don't know the Bible said that. I don't read the Bible. I don't like the Old Testament. Isaiah 40, 17. All nations before him are as nothing. God bless America. Pride in the USA. We're the greatest nation. We're the best nation. USA, USA, number one, number one, yay! All nations before him, God is as nothing. They are counted to him as less than nothing. And vanity. And I've heard preachers get it, and then, you know, they got the American flag in their churches, and I believe it's an idol. I believe it's a sin. I don't care what you feel about me. Eh, we pledge allegiance to the flag. Never mind our Bible today. God said, you're nothing. You're nothing. You violate me. You sin against me. And you got such pride and arrogance. Joel chapter 3. That's the Old Testament. Right after Daniel, Hosea, Joel. Chapter 3. Maybe one day we'll get to Joel. Joel chapter 3. Chapter 2 talks about the rapture. And us saints. I will also gather all nations. And it's already started, United Nations Assembly. And we'll bring them down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And we'll plead with them there for my people, Jews, and for the heritage of Israel, which they have scattered among the heathen. You know, there are Americans here that keep the Jews here because it, it makes America Monday. Remember I told you media in Persia? Told the Jew, go home, build, we'll pay for it. Anything you need, you let us know, Ezra and Nehemiah, we'll take care of it. You got enemies? You tell those enemies to shut up. England, you get over there, you, you go build, go home. And we're not saying because we don't want you. This Russia told the Jews to get out. But we don't want you to get, I don't care where you go, get out. Germany blamed the Jews for, for the recession and all the troubles and all that. And then put millions to, to death. England's like, go, it's your homeland, go. And, well, maybe Jordan. And then maybe, you know, there goes one wing, remember? And the RSV, up oh, there goes the other wing. He 
you imagine what happened? They gave them the whole entire land. You know how long the, the Medes and the Persians were blessed when they were listening to Daniel and listening to God and, and helping the Jews? I will bless them that bless you, and God was blessed because they were blessing the Jews. This is all in the Bible, Zechariah. This is a King James Bible. I, I wouldn't want to know what the modern Bible would say. I don't care. Last verse, Zechariah 14, 2. And there could be a whole lot more. I'll put the notebook away. Last verse. For I will gather all nations, Joel, against Jerusalem to battle. World War Three or Four or Five. There's at least one more world war, and who's the enemy? Jerusalem. This is worse than Babylon. Because Babylon came with the Chaldeans. And they had the Edomites and all that. I mean, but it wasn't really a world war. Can, can you read with me for a moment? I will gather all nations. What did God tell Abraham? I will curse them that curse you. All nations. Does that include America? And America is going to go against Jerusalem. God's going to say, that's it, you're done. Russia is going to, you're done. England, you're done. There's coming a time when all the nations at the Valley of Armageddon, now there will be nations in the tribulation period. They're going to help that Jew. And they will be rewarded for blessing the Jew for God blessing them. But then there's going to become that, that, that world war against one group of... And that's what, when you read your Facebook, you know, God can make up, and if Russia attacks, that's not now. We're gone. There'll be rumors of wars and earthquakes, and that's Matthew 24, that's tribulation. The church will be gone. That's... Daniel's 70th week that's coming up pretty soon. And if, if you didn't get what we're doing right now, because we're going to come up with pretty soon. Let me see in my notes here. We got in chapter 9. I've got three or four words here. And depending what you believe, you will take this and you'll, sit, you'll ponder and say, okay, Lord, help me. It's... It's a lot of food. I want to believe it. Or you'll say, that guy's an idiot. He's a fool. Uh, how can you believe that, man? And that's closing. I hope I, I did the best I could. I may be wrong on some details, but I don't believe I'm pretty much wrong at all. And if people say, where's America in the Bible? I think there it is. But there in the Bible tells us in the future that there is new Jerusalem, new earth, new heavens. There's no new America or America at all. You got the cherubims there. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty. And you don't have any other God bless America. <laughs> You're against America. Yeah, I am. I pray for the souls of people to get saved. I don't pray for America. She's a murdering nation. She's against my God. She's against the Bible. She promotes sin. And we're not really caring for the Af I mean, the, the, the Ukrainians. We want something from the Ukrainians. That's what we want. Or we wouldn't even bother. That's a man that says a woman, oh, baby, I love you. You know, let's go in the back seat of the car. And you knock her up. Oh, I don't want it. I'm done with you. That's America.